Hey guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for joining me. We are here with Marguerite Miller Monday, and we're going to incorporate Ro Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I don't know why I find that so hard to say, but yeah, I am back. A little bit of a break, did some reorganizing in my craft room. Thank you so much to my daughter for helping me. And yeah, I'm feeling really good about things and happy about kind of how I've got everything cleaned up and a little bit organized and it's still not perfect you know your craft room is always a work in progress isn't it all right so here we are we've got the marguerite miller book and we'll flip to our next page so the items that we have this week is an object hung on a wall a piece of ribbon transportation transportation something sharp a photo of your family or a family member and bonus is a form well I've got all these objects and let's go through and kind of see what I have so uh, an object hung on a wall I have these really cute frames that I think I got off of uh, Timu I'm assuming uh, but these are really cute obviously we put frames on walls right so I thought those would be really cute to play with aren't they just like so pretty so so pretty and I think what I'm going to do is I did uh, you know change some things around and it kind of affected my camera as well so I'm going to just kind of zoom in if I can a wee bit here just so that you guys can see a little bit better hopefully that works for everyone so yeah I have these gorgeous frames it was awesome. Uh, a piece of ribbon. So I do have that. I actually just took it off of, um, I think it was an old, my kids had made me a coupon book back in the day. <laughs> and uh, I decided to recycle the, some of the pages in it. And uh, this ribbon was on there. Uh, also, uh, we have transportation, which I have these really cool vintage cars that I was wondering what I was going to do with them. Uh, I love them, just didn't know what I was going to do with them, but oh, these are basically the same thing. They are absolutely the same thing. So yeah, I thought we'd put these in there because that would be cool as well. Then we have something sharp. Okay, so this I'm taking a little bit of liberty with. See that? I have no idea where else I would use this sticker. It is literally of this guy's tongue. And I think your tongue can be sharp, right? At least that's what I'm going with. I didn't find anything else that would really work for that. And I kind of like the tongue in cheek of it, so to speak. Okay, then we also have a photo of your family or a family member. Well, I have these photos of my parents that I just love. They're my favorite photos of them. So I hope it's okay, Mom, that I'm going to show this photo of you and Dad. But these are the photos of my parents when they were younger. They're just, my mom is so beautiful. My dad is so handsome. And I really love these. These are my favorite pictures, and I want to use them. And I'm getting all teary, sorry. Um, just miss my dad. <laughs> okay and then we have a bonus which is a form and actually i thought i had bookmarked two things in here did i i thought i did but no just the one the tongue okay we'll work with that and then a form i have these forms it's a from a seed company and it's an order form and I just got these off of Pinterest and I think they're so cool. And um, I think I'm going to use them as the background. So let's get started. I find my glues here. I hope you're all doing well and that you're finding yourselves in your crafty spaces today. Um, yeah, it just took, it's, you know, it did take a ton of time off, uh, but we're into February already. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm already missing Junk Journal January. So I think I will, if they're good, going to do it again in July I think I'm going to definitely participate because I did have so much fun and it really like I said um, 
stretched me creatively and and that's awesome I like being challenged like that I think that's important uh, for us to do those types of challenges just to see um, how far we can stretch ourselves out of our comfort zones and what we can create when we let that happen so yeah um, and yeah, so, so Marguerite Miller Monday, and then we're going to do Roxy's weekly challenge. And then I'm going to try to have videos up Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then I'm thinking of bringing back Saturday Night Live. I thought it might be fun to do some lives. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Or, you know, I also am thinking about maybe doing you know, weekend virtual retreats. So if you wanted to kind of just hang with me and craft online, uh, I can, you know, set up that Zoom link. Um, and yeah, it would be nice just to craft so with some other people kind of around uh, around the world if, if you're up for that. And yeah, I just think it would be fun to kind of hang out virtually and um, kind of have a virtual retreat, so to speak. So thinking about getting that in the works. If you're interested, definitely let me know down below uh, or you can send me an email and it's my first and last name, which is shalafrank at gmail.com. So just, you know, in the subject line, write virtual retreat and let me know if you're interested and we'll get that set up. I just think that's, you know, a fun way to connect with everybody. Well, I think I've officially used my last large glue stick and I'm on to these little ones that I bought. I didn't mean to buy the little ones, but it happened. So here we are using them. I'm also thinking about trying out some new glues. So I think I had mentioned that before. Um, just, oh, what I can't remember the name of it, but they're like tubs of glue. I think I might purchase those once these glue sticks are done. Like this glue stick is terrible. This is not like my other ones at all, and I don't know why. Maybe I just think that because it's small and I already have a bad attitude towards it. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it's putting glue down. I think that's better. Okay. So yeah, I'll do Marguerite Miller Mondays, and then I likely will do Roxy Creations, like Roxy's Weekly Challenge with that. Look what I found, you guys. I found my brown scrapers. I found both of them when I cleaned up. Isn't it amazing what you find when you clean up? Uh, and then so for Wednesdays, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on Wednesdays. Maybe just some general projects. And then Fridays, I want to do Freebie Friday, which is I'm going to use a freebie that I find online and we're going to create something with it just so that everyone can participate. So you know that you don't have to purchase things because you absolutely do not have to purchase things. Okay, how are we going to do this? Let's keep this here so that we have it handy. An object hung on the wall. So I was actually thinking having these and having the frames around them, like this one over my mom. Oh, it's so pretty. And this one maybe over dad. So handsome dad. Yeah, I think that's cool. Don't really know where I want them. Maybe here and here. We'll see. Oh, I just love my parents. Okay, so that is cool. And then we have a piece of ribbon. Um, we have these cars. So maybe I could do something like that. I don't know if we need this guy, but I'll keep him here for now. Something sharp, family members, and form. So how are we going to get... We need this somewhere. I really like that. I don't want to cover that up too much. So maybe, oh, that's kind of cool. I could do that. And then I could have my sharp tongue over here somewhere. And then the ribbon. Okay, I think we've got somewhat of a plan. All right, so let's get this down. Um, need my glue book back. Sorry, I'm just going to glue off to the side. I know that you can't really see but that's I mean I'm just gluing the back of it it's nothing interesting so let's put you here dad 
And then I think we're going to need to ink this up a wee bit just to get it framed out. Yeah, I'm all like nostalgic. I don't know. My kids were talking about, Mom, you're... things were much cooler in your time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they actually really were. <laughs> we used to go out and play. We'd, you know, the world was literally our oyster, right? We weren't stuck in the house. Like our kids are always stuck in the house. I'm like, go outside. Like I, all I wanted to do when I was a kid was go outside. I did not want to be in the house. So, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with these kids these days. And their fan-dangled technology. Okay, I like that. Let's use some art glitter glue. These frames are gorgeous. I'm actually glad I am using them for one and that I get to actually use it for something that I get to keep. Do you ever get that where you get like a craft supply that you're like, oh, I love it, but I don't want to use it and give it away. Like I want to keep it for myself. I get that way. Okay, there you go, Dad. I've got a button on the other side of you, so it's creating some havoc for us, but I think we'll get there. And then do we want this there? I think so. I don't think I'm going to ink this up at all, but I will put some glue on it just because of my trust issues. Sometimes these vellum stickers, sorry, I just dropped that backing on the floor. Did I? I'm sure I did. I just want to pick it up because I did spend some time vacuuming and everything. So, well, let me be clear. My daughter helped quite a bit. I'm so thankful that she likes to organize. She gets that from my mom, I think. I occasionally like to organize. Okay, I like that. I think that's cute. All right, Mom, let's get you down. Yeah, I was uh, had called my mom today to see if she wanted to go on a little adventure. It's actually, it's February and it's raining here. I've never seen it rain in February, but mom wasn't up for going out today, so that's all right. We'll go out maybe next weekend. I wanted to take her to a new quilt shop. It's right by my daughter's school, so but we'll go. We'll do that next week when she's feeling a little more up to it. Okay, so we need some room for that frame. Let's glue you down or over here. I don't know how old my mom was in this picture. I would guess about 17. Is that about right, mom? I think you were in, high, in grade 12 in this picture. She graduated when she was 17. My dad did not graduate. He finished grade 9, and then that was it. I can't even imagine that. That would be like my son quitting school last year. Like, woo. Actually, no. Maybe it was only grade eight that he finished. Mommy will have to let me know. But my mom graduated from high school. My dad did not. Okay. Let's pick this up. But you know, that was, that was kind of the thing back in the day. The... Um, Men didn't always go go to school or finish high school. They go off and work right away. Okay, we'll put this little VW bug by your mum. Okay. So Roxy's weekly challenge this week was she made some pockets using um, parts of an envelope that she had left over from a project. Now, I don't have leftover pieces like she did, so I'm still going to make pockets out of envelopes. However, I'm not going to really do them necessarily the same way that she did. But I'm still, I still think I'm kind of falling within the challenge because I'm using up envelopes that I have, which is the same thing that Rachel did. Um, and I'm making pockets out of them. So, no, I think it's 
somewhat similar. I will link Rachel's video, of course, down below if you want to see her version of what she did. Okay, let's put you there. A nice little prompts, and then we're going to put our... Did I leave enough room? Yeah, we'll put that guy right there. Okay. And more glue stick. Just, yeah, I just don't trust these vellum stickers. You never know. It's like washi tape, right? You just, sometimes you get a really good sticky roll, and then sometimes you get a roll that you're like, okay, there is literally no adhesive on this whatsoever. This is on the page. Great. Okay, an object hung on, hung on a wall. Check. A piece of ribbon. A ribbon is next. Okay, I need something to hold open my page though, just so I don't lose that sticker. Okay, where would we like to put the ribbon? I think maybe just down there would be nice. Cut that. Okay. And we need our fab attack. I guess I'm going to put ribbon on both sides, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Let's get this. Ew. Fabri-Tac booger is what we have going on. A little glue booger. Okay. Come on. It's actually quite comfortable in my craft room today, even though it is a little bit rainy out. Does it say, oh yeah, it says it's 21 in here. That would be why it's comfortable. Okay. that down. Now do I want to have this on this side? I don't know. Why not? Because what else am I going to do with that piece of ribbon? I really don't have any plans for it. I don't necessarily want to put it back away. So let's just use it. I also want to start going through because I moved all my papers and stuff around. I'm just going to start grabbing like a, papers off my shelf and then making myself create something with them. I think that will help reduce my stash a little bit as well. And then again, challenge me, just picking something out and making myself work with it. Hopefully that will stop me from hoarding. I think that's my problem. I, as I was cleaning up the craft area here, we were watching hoarders <laughs> and I'm like yep yeah. <laughs> kind of feeling like a hoarder right now so definitely made me realize I need to use it or lose it okay so we've got that something sharp which is our sharp tongue over here yeah I don't know if that's a big stretch but I think it's fun I really don't have anything else that is sharp that I can think of. I mean, oh, I know what I could do. Okay, I'll put this on. Yeah, maybe we'll put that right here. And then I have a little jar somewhere. Yes, right here of some, some little dangles and stuff I made, some little pins. Let's use this one. A pin is sharp, right? We could also use that just so we cover our bases. 
And I think I can actually just attach it to the ribbon. Let's see. Can I just feed it through there? I don't know. We're going to give it a go. There we go. And up through there. Come on, poke out pin. You know you want to. Hmm. I'm going to get at a different angle here. I don't know. Just need, there we go. Okay. Click back in there. There. So that's kind of cute. Can you, can you see that on there? A little pin. Okay. We'll do one little review make sure we have everything and challenges satisfied an object hung on a wall picture frames check a piece of ribbon check transportation check check and check something sharp tongue is sharp and this pin is sharp a photo of your family or family member got photos of my parents and bonus a form we have these seed ordering forms in the background there we go that is Marguerite Miller challenge week six in the book. That was fun, guys. Okay. Now I'm just going to put my book away. Now for Roxy's weekly challenge. Let's put this aside and these aside. Just kind of got to keep organized, right? Since I spent all that time and I've lost the lid to my glue. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. A little 10 second tidy just to keep things neat okay so what we want to do is grab some envelopes i have some here and what she had was literally only like one side of the envelope so she either had like just the front or the back and then she made them into pockets just literally by folding them so i'm going to make pockets kind of doing the same thing um so for this particular one I am going to maybe fold it up like this and then I'm going to cut this, have this as a pocket and then this will be a pocket as well. I think that'll work. That seems to be the best idea I have anyways right now. but. go see I did the groundhog see his shadow wherever you guys were our groundhog is Balzac Billy yes I know that sounded like it was a naughty word but it is B-A-L-Z-A-C Balzac yeah that's the name of the town Balzac <laughs> which is just outside of the city where I live and Balzac Billy did see his shadow so we've got six more weeks of winter right that's how that goes okay so we need to grab some scrap papers just to cover the back of that can do that what else do we have these are the papers from let's use these these are the papers from the coupon book I think that would be about the right size yeah let's do that and I love it's actually got some real water staining on it. And I don't know what that is. Something red. Stuck to it. I don't know. There we go. Whatever it is, it's off now. Okay, so yeah, let's use this one for the back there. Kind of pretty paper. Yeah, this glue stick is so tiny. It doesn't feel like I'm getting enough on there. I don't know. Okay. Line that up. And I do apologize if you see my dirty sleeve. <laughs> I was uh, watching Anna Green Gables. I've been watching that series, the whole series, uh, or the, you know, videos with Megan Follows with my daughter. And of course, we were at the part where... Gilbert was very ill with scarlet fever and 
yeah, I was crying. <laughs> I obviously had mascara on and was wiping it off on my on my sweater. But you know, what are you gonna do? Poor Gilbert and Anne, and they realized that they were just, you know, they loved each other. It was a moment. We're almost done. It was a five disc set that I got, and I think we've done three of the discs, so we'll continue to watch it tonight. And I didn't realize, like I totally forgot how many Kids in the Hall stars, if you are from Canada, you know who Kids in the Hall are, um, how many Kids in the Hall stars there were in there. Totally forgot they were in it. Um, actually, one of the Kids in the Hall stars is in the is on the TV show Superstore. He was the manager, which is kind of funny too. Okay, so I do need to trim off here because this is going to be a pocket, and then of course, as always, depending on how we glue it to the page. Um, it could be a double pocket, right? It could have some back here and then here as well. And I will actually do a thumb notch while we're at it. Before I forget. And I think right about there should be good. And I actually like the inside of that envelope peeking through. It's uh, a different pattern and the camera cannot even focus on that type. There we go on the pattern, but it's kind of cool. I like that. So we've got that and then this, let's cut the bottom off of this. And then this will end up getting folded up like that. And then we'll have this as a double pocket as well. But I want to cover this first. What sort of papers might look good with that? Um, that's plain pink paper. Mm, not feeling that. What else do we have? Lord knows I've got papers galore. It's just whether or not I like them, right? Isn't that how it goes? Um, what about... Is that gonna fit? I mean, I kind of like those colors. That's kind of cool with the... those colors look nice but it's just not big enough uh, what else do we have that is ooh just not wide enough oh maybe down here would be though okay that, I think that would work let's just use this so we're going to cut this down. Maybe if I put it here, give me an idea where to cut. Let's actually just cut it here. And I can always trim it off if need be. Did I cut it too short? Oh, I did, didn't I? Bugger. It's okay, we still have more. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you do that? Let's just glue it down and then I'll trim it later. Because apparently I am on the struggle bus and not measuring things appropriately. Yeah, I like having these pockets kind of done up and on hand because they go, like, they can go in any journal, especially when you decorate them fairly neutrally. 
And then you can just, we can um, decorate this pocket, add some things to it that would fit into whatever journal that we are making at the time. Lay that down a little better. And then trim here. And then trim here. So yeah, super simple to make, right? And let's ink. Actually, let's do our thumb notch. Grab our hole punch out again. Trying to find the opening. There we go. And get a hole in there. And do, do, let's say that that is about center. Is it though? Well, it's as close as we're going to get. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good, actually. Pretty impressed with myself. If I do say so, I did get it fairly straight. Always a bonus, right? Okay. Bring out my ink. So yeah, what have you guys been up to? We actually have um, February, is it 19th this year? February 19th, I think, is our family day, which is we get a day off, you know, to spend with our family. I'm looking forward to that. And I took an extra day. I took, so that's a Monday. And then I took the, the Friday before that off as well. So I get a little bit of an extra long weekend because I want to hang out in here with you guys and get a few things done and, you know, just nice to have a little bit of a break I know we've it I just feels feels like January was like the longest month ever uh, what am I looking for art glitter glue glue this down to be our pocket and on this side like that Okay, let's do another one. Now I have these window envelopes. So for these ones, so I just want to put that pin in my glue. For these ones, I think, I kind of like the window, so I want to keep that. I think we will do Actually, I have this little scrap bin that maybe we will try to use some of these pieces up and just do a collage on here. Yeah. Let's just do that and we'll use up some of these. And just kind of go around the window and then it can still be a window pocket thing. Okay, I do need to glue this closed though, I think. So let's start with that. Just gluing that down. Okay. Now, we want to trim this part off so that it's open. And I'm going to wait to put my thumb notch in because I want to cover it with the papers first. So let's do some quick collage. Great way to use up those scraps, right? We're always, always looking for ways to use up our scraps, I think. 
And I am just going to, I mean, some of these papers just are not cohesive to one another, but does that really matter? I don't think so. If I put that there and maybe, you know, I have a little ruler somewhere. I see you. You're just trying to get away from me. Okay. Maybe we will rip this here. Like that. I'm gonna let that piece go. Gotta start letting things go, I'm not trying to save it all. Because I will never be able to use it all in my lifetime, I don't think, unless I quit my job and do this full time. Which I don't think my husband would be very pleased about. <laughs> I don't think we're there yet. As much as I would love to think so. Um, this is... Oh, a leftover strip. Okay, let's get rid of that. I think we can use this. Why not? It'll just be a potpourri of papers. A little William Morris. Okay, what else? This is just kind of a neutral. Do we want you on there? Why not? A ruler. Okay, we'll just rip this part off and let it go. We're going to be Elsa from Frozen and just let it go. Put you there. Okay, what else? Oh, that's kind of fun. Little fish. I don't know. I mean, that's not going to get shown because that's going to be up like this, right? So how do we want you? Little fish, little fish. I think I just want to make that a little bit straighter. Just so it butts up against there nicely. I think this is from a pet themed paper pack but we'll use it like there I like it because it's textured too that's kind of fun yeah this is going to be good to use up some of these papers I don't really like that white though So we'll rip it the other way so we get rid of that and then that can just yeah oh, we'll just put that there there we go okay That's going to cover nicely. That we can get rid of. That we can get rid of. What else do we have here? Ooh, that just kind of fits perfectly across there. Why not? It's a little bit thicker paper, so I will use art glitter glue. Okay. I think I've lost a pair of tweezers along the way. I lost my gray pair of tweezers like this. I don't know. Not sure where they went. All right, what else do we have? Some thinner strips. Why not? 
What else do we have? That's pretty plain. That is a longer piece. Hmm. <laughs> I want something a little more interesting, a little more pizzazz, shall we say. I think that's got some pizzazz to it. We could put that across there. Okay, let's do that. Um, not the best way to figure out where to rip it. That's the next question. That needs to be there. How much over am I? Maybe what I'll do is just put glue all over here. Just trying to think of the easiest way to get that on there. And I think this might be it. And then I'll just trim around it. That works. We'll give it some time to set up before I cut around it. Okay, so we just have this little piece and then here, maybe some blue. If I rip that there, would that be big enough? Yes, it would. Okay, We're getting there. Like that. And then this needs to be covered. Oh, I love that. And that is almost, almost perfect. But I think we'll go with it. Glue that on there and then trim it. That's double-sided. Does it matter which side we want? We've got that side. Oh, that side's a little easier to work with. Let's do it like that. I like that bird. Okay, so we won't have to do too much decorating on this one in terms of adding focal points because we do have this bird. Oh, that is fun. Yep, let's just do that. I like the hodgepodge of it all, to tell you the truth. Gives it a little bit more interest. And things don't always have to be so matchy-matchy. What else? I see a piece down here I might like. That's not it, that's not it. You're escaping my fingers. There you are. I see you. Mm. Maybe put that there. I think I need to switch out my glue page. It's a bit sticky. Let's turn that over. Oh, I feel like I'm going to go through these little glue sticks pretty quickly. <laughs> Do some trimming afterwards. That's kind of another funky piece, but it works. And it's a bit thicker, so we'll use art glitter for that one. Okay. Like that. Ooh, look at that. That is. Well, that is something, isn't it? <laughs> it's very crazy, but I like it. Okay, ooh, gooby gooby. Now we'll just trim this. Is there anything else I needed to trim? Maybe just a little bit on this side. And then that is not going to work for me. That needs to get glued down. Oh, and then we have this part here. 
like that, and this side. Oh, I think, did I cut that open? Nope, we're okay. We're good. Ooh, this little bit of strip. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm keeping that one. The rest I'll let go, though. A little bit here. The more you look at it, the more you're seeing places that just need to be cleaned up a titch. Okay, back to our, our thumb notch. How did that get glued shut? It shouldn't have. How did you get glued shut, my friend? Come on. Because that should be a double... Oh, did I not... Oh, it's because I didn't cut this one off yet. <laughs> Oops. We'll do that now. There. Now it will open and it'll be a double pocket. Right? Will you? No? Yes. Yes, you will. Okay, I see you. I see where you're at now. You know what? Maybe we'll just do this one as a single pocket because I did glue that and I think I glued a little rogue. Yeah. Let's just seal it back up and pretend like it never happened and we'll just make this one a single pocket. Okay. In which case we will put our thumb notch in, try not to cut off the bird's head. Like that. There we go. Cool. Okay. And glue this side. And glue this side. And they come together pretty quickly. So that needs to be trimmed. And I think I just want to give it a little bit of ink. And why did you not glue, my friend? What is going on with you? Why are you giving me difficulties? You could also sew up the sides too. That would be cute. Add a little stitching on there. I might on this one. I don't know. And we will do our thumb notch. This one will be a little bit shallower because I don't want to uh, cut into that window. Um, try and line it up as best as I can to the other one. A little off, but that's fine. Okay. Thank you. So now whatever we put into this pocket is going to show through there, which is cool. So we'll have to find something eventually to go in there. You know what? I have this. Okay, let's put this away. Have this it's been hanging around my desk forever it's a little washy stamp and I feel like I might want to put that on there just so I can use it up and what's this oh you know what would be really cool a pocket on a pocket on a pocket <laughs> right why not let's just do a pocket on a pocket on a pocket which means I need my scoreboard since this has been hanging on my desk forever, it would be good to use that up as well, won't it? Oops, let's just throw the stylus around. Okay, give that a score. Give that a score. And right there. Okay, 
fold that up, ink it up, let's put you away, and then yeah, you can go here. I think I need my bone folder. Oh, where's my bone? There it is. Just about had a moment there. I was like, where did it go? Just to try and get that laid just a little bit flatter. Use our friend Art Glue. Okay, that is just disgustingly gooby. Do I have a paper towel or anything? No. Okay, well, I'm not sure why you got so gross. Okay, yeah, that's really bugging me. I am so sorry. Oh, here's one. Let's try and clean that off. Okay. I'm going to have to give that a good old wash later because it is bugging me. Like this. Put you right down like that. Get some ink. There you go. Got a little heavy handed with the ink there, but meh. that's fine. Okay. Let's see. Now we want this guy to go maybe right there. Do we want that on here? I feel like I want it up there. So let's do that. Okay. Well, we have come just about to our time. Don't want to keep you too, too long because you guys need to be in your spaces creating as well. Hopefully that's where you are. But yeah, those are some fun pockets, I think. So um, again, I've got some more here on my desk that I can play with later. Um, but yeah, if you have, you know, junk envelopes, leftover envelopes, pull them out, make these fun pockets. There's different ways that you can make pockets with them, but I just, you know, I think this is kind of one of the easiest ways to do it. So let's pull down what we accomplished today my book again and we have where are we there we go week six for marguerite miller's challenge and then we have roxy's weekly challenge where we made these little pockets out of envelopes all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for spending your time with me and hanging out. I hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you on the next video. And P.S. I love you.